Maker Diecast Racing League. Welcome back to the 3D Bot Maker Diecast Racing League. Yes, we are finally back to racing. Are you wearing a DRC shirt? Yep, I'm showing off the merch, and I am ready to see eight Fieros take the track. Now, we did have a problem with one of the cars. Where, where's that Fiero going? After a closer inspection, that car has illegal tires, so it will not be allowed to race in this tournament. So we're down to seven? Oh, don't worry about it. We got a replacement car. A replacement Fiero. Yeah, of course. It's the same color. It's got the right tire, so we are good to go. Okay, what is that? That car is not a Fiero. Of course it is. Look at it. It has Fiero written around the front. Bro, that's a Ferrari. Ferrari, Fiero, tomato, tomato. How is the Ferrari legal, but the other Fiero isn't because of the tires? They look about the same to me. It's not the same as the Ferrari, dude. That's not fair. Aren't you the one who entered a Fiero into the Ferrari tournament? Yeah, that... But... And I believe you said, hey, it has a sticker. Well, this car has a Fiero sticker. Okay, but you're disgracing the Pontiac brand here. They went out of business. It's the legacy that counts. Well, let's see who's driving. Up versus legendary driver Crazy Jimmy in the classic yellow. Then in the red car, we have Randy Ferrero. Isn't that? No, that's another Randy. His name was Guerrero. Okay. Then in the orange car, we have George Milladrag. And finally, wow, this one is sparkly. We have Rad Cunningham. That is quite the paint job. It's shining like a moonbeam. All right, this is it. our first race at the new location for Fierro's Let It Rip. Here we go. This new course has five consecutive hairpin turns. That should really put the driver's skills to the test. Crazy Jimmy was in the lead, but gets overtaken by Randy Ferrero. These cars are really moving out there. This seems like a very fast course. We just lost Rad Cunningham. He gets stuck on the side of the road. Randy spins out, but recovers the pass to finish line going in reverse. Looks like Randy's been to the Crazy Jimmy School driving a required course if you're going to drive a Fiero. George Miller drag stalls out before the finish. Rad Cunningham's car turned around backwards with his wheels off the side of the road. Let's see that finish one more time here. Randy pulls too hard to the left, but spins around to block Crazy Jimmy. An impressive move right there. That move was definitely from the Crazy Jimmy playbook. Our first time set on the track by Randy Ferrero. 17.2262 seconds. Is it me or are there more numbers in the time now? Yes, we have a new, more accurate timing system sent in by Slanman Customs. You can pick one up yourself plus other accessories at slanmancustoms.com. Here they go for race two. Whoa, Randy switches lanes. This is Fiero racing right here. And here comes Crazy Jimmy with the pass. Let's go, Jimmy. Come on. Randy trying to get lead back from Jimmy as they go through turn four. Crazy Jimmy really pulling ahead here. Bring it home, Jimmy boy. And race two goes to Crazy Jimmy, followed by Randy, Rad Cunningham, and George Milladrag. What a race. I know you had some doubts when I said, hey, let's do an all Fiero tournament. But these Fieros are delivering. They certainly are. Look at Randy Ferraro jumping the median. I'm not sure if that was intentional or some kind of strategy, but it really opened up the lane for Crazy Jimmy right here, able to make that pass. And with that win, Crazy Jimmy ties the score with Randy. Crazy lane changes and overtakes. That's the kind of racing action you get from the great and mighty Fiero. That's two races down, two more to go. This race is brought to you by ModelCarsHouston.com, your number one source for collector-grade scale model cars, dioramas, and figures. The quality and detail of the cars that they sell is something you just cannot find at the regular store. They have new stuff every week, so check them out at ModelCarsHouston.com. Here we go with race three. Randy and Jimmy both tie with eight points each. The other two drivers really need some points here. And they're off. Rad Cunningham and George Milladrag in the front row. George Milladrag with the lead going into turn two. Crazy Jimmy right on his tail. Jimmy wants to win this thing. Now he won a Ferrari tournament. How embarrassing would it be for him to lose a Fiero tournament? If anything, the competition is more fierce in this tournament. The Fiero obviously being the better car. And here comes George Milladrag past the finish line to take the win. He's followed by Jimmy. Randy Ferrero gets stuck on the side of the road on the last stretch. And what happened to Rad Cunningham? Seems like he made a pit stop there, possibly to relieve himself behind that tree. I don't 2D. know. Come on. Hey, when nature calls, you got to pick up the phone. Well, that's going to be a DNF for Rad Cunningham and Randy Ferrero. Here we are at the last race. The top two drivers advance on to the final round. Jimmy currently in the lead. And there they go for the final race. Jimmy and George Milladrag in the front row. Top two advance. Crazy Jimmy now passing up George Milladrag. Randy Ferrero in second. Whoa, Jimmy gets spun around. Vintage Crazy Jimmy right there. That is a classic move. Little known fact, the Fiero actually goes faster in reverse. I seriously doubt that. Look it up. Well, it seemed to work for Jimmy because he takes the win on the last race. Yeah, baby. That will move him on, and he will be joined by Randy Ferrero. You know, I think this tournament shows us something already. It's one thing to have an amazing top-of-the-line 
Italian. It's not Italian. Italian inspired sports car. If you let me finish, Italian inspired is accurate. Go ahead. You can have that beast of a dream machine, but it takes a skilled driver to win races, and that's exactly what Crazy Jimmy is. His driving techniques are a little unorthodox, but he wins races, and that's what it's all about. Crazy Jimmy and Randy Ferrero will be advancing on to the final round. Coming up next time, four more Fieros will take the track. That's three Fieros and a Ferrari. It has a sticker. It's not a Fiero. It's a Ferrari Arrow. That sounds ridiculous. Anyways, until next time, I'm 3D Botmaker. And I'm 2D. And we'll see you on the track. track.